Good evening, ladies. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm introducing a video um, about my prayer binder for 2020. So, I have two prayer binders um, that I use. Well, I have one prayer binder right now, and I have another one that I'm adding <laughs> that I'll be using. And I'll kind of explain what the difference is. But I love prayer binders. I love having a prayer binder. Um, some people refer to them as war binders. Whatever you want to call it. Prayer binder, war binder. I mean, I love my prayer binder. I have been using a prayer binder for years. Um, and it has really helped me cultivate an intimate walk with God. Um, it has been essential to my prayer life. Um, I love writing down my prayers. I love writing letters, love letters to God and in my prayer binder. And it just has really helped me just sit down, focus my attention on the Lord, and just be real intentional about praying. Um, I do consider myself an intercessor. So I do like praying for others and interceding for others. So, um, my prayer binder is where, you know, I'm able to just sit down, focus on praying for myself and other people, other people's needs, the needs of the world, whatever that may be. One of the things that I've come to realize over the years, that effective prayer is not by accident. Effective prayer is intentional. We have to spend intentional time with God as if... Uh, as we do with family members, when we're in a relationship with our significant other, um, we have to have those moments of intentional time with God. We're, we're going to jump right into this prayer binder and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what I'll be using in 2020 um, for my prayer binder. So the first page or the cover of this binder I got this printable from off of Pinterest and I will link some of the printables that I used for this and resources I used for my binder in the description box. But the cover says, pray without seizing. Um, it's 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. And I love this because it's just a sweet reminder to just pray um, and pray constantly and consistently. And what better resource to use to do that than a prayer binder? So I love having this as my cover on my binder. And um, when I open it up, the first thing I see is a checklist. Another resource that I got from Penetrance, which I will locate the link and leave it below. But it's just um, has a checklist that you can use daily and then a couple things to use weekly. And one of the first things on the checklist, it says intentionally surrender my stubborn will as God's will would become my will. And so I actually love the second one. It says prayerfully hang out with the Lord and his word invest in our relationship. This prayer binder is a great um, investment to my relationship with God, I feel, because uh, I get to spend time in prayer with him and spend time um, in his word, learning his character, learning about who he is. And he gets to speak to me in prayer, through prayer, and speak to me through his words. So I love this uh, checklist. And my prayer binder is split up into about 10 or 11 sections. The first section in my prayer binder is praise. And I have... Just this printout that kind of helps me get into that praise. It kind of has like some things that I can praise God for. And I love that. Um, for example, I can praise him for his holiness, his faithfulness, his Holy Spirit, his forgiveness. And so when I look at this, I'm just reminded of so many things that I can praise God for. So I love having this. Um, or seeing this as soon as I open up this section of my prayer binder. And another resource that I have is something I printed out online and it's just um, 30 days of praying the names and attributes of God. And I love this because 
you know, when I'm praying and I'm calling out to God, I can use um, some of the other things that we, you know, um, call God, some of his other names. For example, Jehovah Jireh, which is the Lord is my provider, and uh, Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. I'm able to, you know, call out his names when I am praising him. So I love having this in my prayer binder. I've had this and been using this resource for years. It's been, you know, a great resource to have in my prayer binder. And because I will be using this binder in 2020, a lot of the pages in this binder is blank. I just set it up. Um, but this is where I will be just dating it and just begin writing my praises to God right here in this area. Um, the second section in this binder is confession. So this will be the area where I will confess my sins to God. The Bible tells us to do so. And um, this is just where I will be just releasing that and asking God to help me in those areas where I fall short. The scripture section, I couldn't wait. I have uh, started using this section and um, the cover page for this section, it just says scripture and it has one of my favorite verses when it comes to um, encouragement on reading God's word. And it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And so this is the cover page for my scripture section which is the third section in my prayer binder. And again, I've already started using this to do verse mapping. And um, right now we're in the season of Advent. So I have my um, resource page for Advent and just a verse map that I did um, for the Advent. So that's my scripture section. I'll be doing a lot of um, inductive Bible studying and just um, scripture writings and things like that in this scripture section. That's what I'll be utilizing this section for. And then my husband section. Now I've had a prayer binder for years. This is the one that I will um, be using for 2020, but even um, I'll be married going on five years. It'll be five years in May. And even before I had a husband, I prayed for my future husband. So if you do not have a husband yet and you desire to be married, you can use this section to pray for your future husband. Um, now that I am married, I use the section to pray for him. But in my old prayer binder, um, I had a section for my future husband and God really answered some of those prayers. So um, those prayers did not go in vain. So I do encourage you, if you do desire to be a wife, to pray for your husband, your future husband. And if you are a wife, keep your man covered and pray for him. So this section I'll be using to pray for my husband. And this section is for my children. Um, and it's a great resource. It, again, each section I try to have a cover sheet and it will have some resource or some things I can look at and say, these are some things that I need to pray for in regards to my children or my future children. So this is um, a wonderful resource. I love seeing these at the beginning of each um, section in my binder. And as I stated earlier in the video, I am an intercessor. I am a first lady, I'm a minister. And so I make sure that my church is covered in prayer and I make sure that I just pray for the world, pray for the president of the United States and the government and my local government, just make sure that I cover as much as I can in prayer. And I'm so thankful that God uses me in that area. And my next section um, is church. So these are some things that I've planned for my church, ministries in my church, and I just pray, use this section to pray over those things. Um, and then I have a section for priority and goals. Right now, I'm currently working on my 
five-year plan and praying over my plan and so this section my priority and goals this is where I will be writing my five-year plan and writing my goals down and praying and asking God to lead me and direct me in those areas and asking God to open up doors and, and bless me in those areas where I see my life going and um, my last section is current read this is where I will be writing notes and taking notes on my um, or any books that I'm currently reading also my scripture section I meant to add this and this is very important um, this section I also use to write sermon notes is so important because as pastors um, they are they are covering they are shepherd and so because of that the words that they give you know they are given from God and to our pastors and they're released to us and so it's so important to take notes to take sermon notes to study those notes throughout the week and pray over those notes and ask God to take you further and ask God where is he leading you or where is he speaking to you um, in this season of your life through your pastor and so I think that's very important I wanted to share that um, but this is my big prayer binder um, so this completes the walkthrough of my large prayer binder that I will be using in the coming year of 2020 I did want to be prepared for that um, next, I just want to show you guys and give you guys a small glimpse of my smaller prayer binder that I love and have been using and will continue to use. So this is my smaller prayer binder that I've had for so many years. It's full of a lot of prayers and love letters to the Lord. Also have um, some scripture cards tucked in here which you will see in a second I just want to give you guys a small glimpse I love this because it's so small it's so compact that I'm able to carry it around um, wherever I go so that if I have some downtime I can open it up and I can just pray and write to God um, I purchased this from Target also the paper I purchased from Target and um, I created this little area right here to store my scripture cards um, I just got some washi tape from Hobby Lobby or Michaels and some index card and made a little pocket right here and I created some scripture cards um, using some index cards and some washi tape and kind of put some scripture on these index cards so that I'm able to pray God's word um, I have scriptures on healing, I have scriptures on faith and, and finances, and I have scriptures on praise. So sometimes I just pull out these scripture cards and I use them um, just to prompt me in prayer and just to be able to pray God's word. Now with my um, smaller compact prayer binder, I don't have as many sections. Is just split into let's see one two three four five and I think this is a section two so about six sections um, in this first page I just have what would be an ideal day for me what it would look like um, and I have that so that I'm able to pray over my day my day typically does not look like this all the time but if I had an ideal day this is what it would look like um, have a little small breakfast have some prayer time before I do anything study God's Word work on a blog or YouTube content exercise read a book and have some prayer time I love praying y'all <laughs> and um, the first section is a combined praise and confession in this section and so um, this is just an area where I do my praise and confession. Um, this section is where I pray for myself and also where I just write whatever I have on my heart, whatever's on my mind, I just write it down to God. And a section for my husband, for my future kids, 
Um, this is where I intercede. And this section, um, it just has notes in here, just some notes from books read. Um, and I also have answer prayer. So this is where I keep track of answer prayer. Um, but I love this little compact prayer binder. It's so cute. I love it, y'all. Um, so I hope this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it encourages you, if anything, to just pray more. I know the prayer binder is not for everyone. My prayer binders have been a great resource for me, and I'm excited um, to go into a new year and just go deeper into prayer. And so if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And also if you have anything else you wanna see as far as prayer um, or faith related, please comment below and I will see you guys soon on the next video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and have a blessed day, evening, whatever time you're, you're watching.